Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mesozoic Maniacs and Dinosaur Dorks, to now the second concurrent running series on my channel, Assessing Survival. In this series, we're going to take animals, people, and biological beings, and placing them in different environments throughout history, as well as in some forms of fiction. But we're going to start with something pretty simple today. Could elephants survive the Mesozoic? Specifically, African bush elephants, as they are the largest of modern elephants. And again, more specifically, the late Cretaceous period. I will be using five different categories to score the animals on their ability to survive. These scores will be added up to a final assessment score. These categories are number one, environment suitability, number two, competition, number three, predators, number four, advantages, and number five, disadvantages. For this scenario, we're going to have a herd of about 75 elephants coming across a strange blue time warp in the middle of the Serengeti, and it will be transported specifically to late Cretaceous North America around 70 to 66 million years ago. Our herd of pachyderms will be encountering dinosaurs from the Hell Creek Formation like T. rex, Edmontosaurus, and Triceratops. This setting offers a solid challenge testing their survival in a new and demanding environment. Jumping right into the categories, we're going to talk about their advantages. Their first advantage is their intelligence. Elephants are incredibly intelligent. They have been observed performing funeral rituals, using tools, and seeking out certain plants in response to illness or to induce labor. This high intelligence gives elephants an extraordinary advantage over their competition. Their second advantage is their size. Elephants will fit right in with even the larger dinosaurs. They will have no problem throwing their weight around. And there is their intimidation factors. Elephants are aggressive and loud, and they know this. We don't have a lot of evidence on dinosaur vocalization, let alone how they would use it to intimidate. These dinosaurs can really probably only vocalize in, in uh, bellows and hissing. So an elephant trumpeting or roaring would be a new thing to these dinosaurs. An elephant's trumpet and aggression would probably be enough to stop an encounter before it even gets violent. Their last advantage, hearing. Elephants have excellent hearing and could detect a threat from up to a mile away. Advantages score, five out of five. Now for their disadvantages, reproduction. It takes incredibly long for an elephant to gestate and reach adulthood. On average, it takes an elephant 22 months to gestate and 14 to 17 years to reach sexual maturity. That's just as much as a human. Even more so, most male elephants are unsuccessful at mating until they're much older. And on top of that, a female elephant may take as long as nine years before she chooses to mate again. This puts elephant at an incredible disadvantage. This will make spreading across the continent a very slow burn. Poor eyesight. Elephants will have a hard time spotting predators from afar. But generally, once they're close enough, the eyesight will no longer be an issue. I imagine them having a bit of a hard time with detecting Tyrannosaurus before they get too close, especially in a denser environment. Disadvantages, 3 out of 5. Now we have environmental suitability. The Cretaceous was warmer and more humid than today's climate, which might actually help the elephants. It may be a little bit hotter than the Serengeti, but I think they'll be just fine in this regard. Vegetation. The era was dominated by flowering plants, offering potential food sources, but this flora was drastically different from modern times. However, we're going to assume that our elephants can eat most of the same food. This would give our herd plenty of food to choose from. Environment suitability score, 5 out of 5. And now, competition. Elephants will have an intense competition with other herbivorous dinosaurs. They won't have a hard time scaring off animals like Struthiomimus or Pachycephalosaurus and probably even Ankylosaurus. The real competition our herd has to worry about comes from Edmontosaurus and Triceratops, the most intense of the two being with Triceratops. Elephants, slightly taller and with tusks longer than the horns of Triceratops, could engage in serious duels over prime grazing spots. The elephant's intelligence, trumpeting, and versatile trunks give them an edge over Triceratops. It's pretty likely that the intimidation factor from an elephant's trumpeting alone could end an encounter before it happens. Each of these animals face a pretty significant goring risk from one another, but an elephant would have to come up at Triceratops from the side for that to happen, which could be pretty difficult. Triceratops also weigh more than elephants, about 20,000 pounds to their 12,000. One on one, Triceratops wins most of the time, but elephants are more likely to use numbers to end a fight making it unlikely for a mano a mano situation. Despite the weight difference, elephants generally match up pretty well against Triceratops. These two animals would generally avoid each other, but also be fierce rivals. Against Edmontosaurus, however, the playing field wouldn't be so even. Edmontosaurus is twice the size of an elephant, and probably lived in herds twice or even thrice the size. Edmontosaurus isn't very intelligent, but you don't gotta be smart to know you're bigger than someone. Elephants would have no chance against Edmontosaurus. 
If a herd of Montasaurus shows up, our elephants are at a distinct advantage and will have to yield territory and move to new grazing areas. Competition score, 3.5 out of 5. And now for our final category, Predators. For Dakota Raptor, the adults in our herd will not have to worry about them. They could pretty easily dispatch these Dromaeosaurs if they got too close. Dakota Raptor's maximum weight is estimated to be around 750 pounds, which, funny enough, is just about the maximum weight that an elephant's trunk can lift. So you can probably imagine an elephant eating a Dakota Raptor. Young elephants would, however, be very vulnerable to Dakota Raptor, especially if they wander away from their mothers. The elephants will have to be incredibly watchful for these cunning Dromaeosaurs if they want to keep their young safe. And now, for the elephant's fiercest foe in the Cretaceous, the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus rex is taller, heavier, and most certainly more powerful than the largest of African bush elephants. A fight between these two animals would probably be pretty similar to that of a fight between a T-Rex and Triceratops. Chances are a T-Rex would not attack a healthy adult elephant unless it was desperate. No doubt, even if a bull elephant and a T-Rex were put in an arena, the T-Rex wins 8 times out of 10. But it would just take too much effort when there are easier options available to T-Rex. In the wild, it's just not worth it. The biggest problem for our elephants would be Tyrannosaurus targeting their young, sick, and old. The Tyrannosaurus were probably pretty intelligent, with an EQ rating of almost 2.4. For those of you who don't know, that is the measurement of the intelligence of an animal based upon the size of their brain in relation to the size of their body. The elephants only have an average EQ of 1.3. This doesn't necessarily mean that T-Rex was smarter than an elephant, but his brain was pretty big, so maybe they even occasionally hunted together. If these predators isolated a weak member of the herd, it's an easy meal. Elephants have pretty poor eyesight, so this may make spotting even large predators like T-Rex from a distance difficult. And despite an elephant's excellent hearing, there is evidence that T-Rex may have even had padding on its feet, making it pretty hard to detect them. Even so, elephants are smart when it comes to defending each other. If the herd does take notice of the Tyrannosaurus before it's too late, it will quickly form a defensive circle around the weak and young. Charging, and also trumpeting at the Tyrannosaurus will end the encounter quickly. It won't be worth it for the T-Rex. Predator rating, 3 out of 5. Now, this brings us to our final survival assessment score, 7.8 out of 10. So, in summary, elephants generally have a pretty good chance of surviving in the Cretaceous. They'll definitely, in the beginning, struggle to establish a population, but once they get the momentum, there won't be any stopping them. Mostly because they don't have humans to hunt them for ivory. That's it for our uh, tactic technically second episode of Assessing Survival. My first video, Could Dinosaurs Survive the US, is pretty much the same concept, except it wasn't really too structured going forward. This will be the standard for this series. I really appreciate any and all of the people coming over from TikTok, anyone coming from YouTube Shorts. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and i think the way we're going we can definitely accomplish that that means it is up to you to help me reach that goal so if you like the video please do me a massive favor press the like button subscribe share, share the video with people also turn on notifications so you do not miss an upload thank you very much guys and i will see you in the next video probably going to be a primeval post